<sighs> Good. Everyone's here. Uh, even you up there. You're kinda here. Uh... I've gathered everyone as you requested. He turns to the others. Listen up. Afmao has something she's proposed to me that both she and I believe will not only help Phoenix Drop, but keep the balance in the rest of the world. Go on, Afmao. The floor is yours. All right. I recently had a conversation with Dante. I want to reform the Phoenix Alliance, to make it bigger than it ever was before. Now that I'm no longer Lord of Phoenix Drop, I feel that my leadership skills could come in handy, not just for one village, but for Mateli and countless other villages as well. Leading an alliance required more than I could ever imagine. I didn't get the chance to lead the alliance as well as Phoenix Drop for long before I was thrown into the future. I feel terrible that the first and last thing the Alliance ever did was to help me, and I couldn't return the favor. I feel selfish for that, and I'm going to change it. I plan on traveling the region and beyond to make peace between villages and bring them together united. Even if they don't join our Alliance, they will know that someone out there can help them. I don't want anyone feeling left out of this like the Safehold was. This journey will be a long one, but it'll also serve a triple purpose. I want to be able to form the Alliance, find out more about Irene and what I am, as well as see those faces who I miss from long ago. With that being said, I propose to you this. I want to reforge the Phoenix Alliance with counsel from all the village lords who join. What say you? Are you with me? I think it's a wonderful idea. I can't complain here. We don't have much to lose in terms of supplies. If it benefits my people, consider us a part of the Alliance. <sighs> well, Levin answers for all of us here in the safe hold. Oh no. Cadenza? Don't get me wrong. I would join in a heartbeat if it were absolutely up to me. However, I also have my guards and council in New Mateli who need to hear this before we can join. I'm sure you understand how that goes, Afmao. While I am the Lord, I still have to do not only what is best for my people, but what they agree with as well. I completely understand, and so does Levin. A wise choice to pass it by your most trusted. I'm glad you all agree. I will head back to Mateli to speak with my guards and council. Wait, Cadenza. If that's the case, then I would like to go as well. If they meet me, then maybe they'd be more inclined to join the Phoenix Alliance. Don't you think? I would greatly appreciate that. I'm sure they would as well. To get to know the people they are forming an alliance with. Very well then. Let's head to New Mateli in the morning. <laughs> Great! Sounds like a plan. I would like to visit Hayden's burial site if possible while we're there. Speaking of which, before we head out, can we stop by Old Mateli? It's been abandoned for years, and since I grew up there, I wanted to leave some flowers in remembrance of all the happy times I had there. Of course, we can travel to Numatelli and then see how everything goes. All right, this meeting is adjourned. Thank you all for coming. <sighs> oh, I need to take a quick breather. It's been a long time since I've given a speech like that. Huh. <sighs> okay. Alright, that went much better than I anticipated. And everyone seems to be on board, so now all we have to do is convince every other village that we visit that they need to join the Phoenix Alliance. Well, not that they need to, but I can't sound too pushy, but... Uh, Alright, I just need to pull myself together and... There's something else I want to talk about. <sighs> Let me go see what everyone else is doing. Levin has really warmed up to the idea of allowing others to help us in our time of need. I'm glad he's putting aside his pride. But you, Mom, the Phoenix Alliance is an amazing idea. We will be working on building our village to match the other ones you put into the Alliance. Levin and I are excited to make new changes to Phoenix Drop and take it back. I am so glad to hear that! That's great! I know you guys are going to... I don't even have to say it. I say it too much. You guys will do great. Don't worry. Reforming the Phoenix Alliance? That's not what I was expecting t for this meeting to be about, but that's such a wonderful idea. To be a part of an alliance where everyone helps each other? 
It's more than we could ever ask for. I know. <laughs> and even though I'm no longer working on projects here in Phoenix Drop, this is going to be something that I... I expect every village to be contributing to this alliance, so I expect you to rebuild Phoenix Drop on your own, Levin. A absolutely! There's no way around that. I completely understand that we need- we have to be able to contribute as well in order for everyone to succeed. While you are away forming the Alliance, we will be here rebuilding and becoming stronger. Caitlin gave me all the refined materials yesterday, and we will be making use of them to fortify the wall. <laughs> I'm glad, but Levin, I also want to offer you my assistance from afar. Um, I would like to send you some materials, at least until you have enough, if that's okay. Not materials, but more so just like any crazy thing of value that I come across that I don't need. I would like to send back here if, if that's okay. Eh? Uh, you shouldn't. Wait. Um, fine. However, I request that you send the minimal amount of what you find. Also, when I send word that we no longer need assistance, I expect the help to stop. Not only that, but when we are stronger, I request that you ask us for help on anything and everything that comes your way. Deal? <laughs> You've got a deal, Lord Levin. <laughs> well then, Malachi and I will be preparing some rations for you guys to take on your journey to Mateli. I'm gonna assume you and everyone from the past will be sticking together. We'll have enough for you and all, and... We'll be seeing you off in the morning. Get some rest, Afmao. <sighs> uh, I'll never get over him calling me by my first name. <laughs> but if that's how he wants to address me, then fine. <sighs> Alright, um... Everyone seems excited about this idea. I'm glad you brought it up to me. It means a lot that you trusted me with the idea before you told everyone else. Really, it does. <laughs> I trust you, Dante. You stuck around for 15 years. Why wouldn't I? <sighs> okay. Alright, so everyone else... Lawrence. Um, Cadenza. I need to address you first. I have a feeling that my guards and council will be more than likely agreeing to joining. So don't worry. I'm all for the idea. Also, since you're coming to New Matelli, I can show you my doggy crumbs. You'll love him. <laughs> I'm excited, but... Um, Lawrence? Lawrence. Um, can I talk to you in private, please? I if you don't mind. <laughs> I'm taking him from you, Cadenza, I'm sorry. Follow me, Lawrence. <sighs> okay. Everyone else seems busy, so... Lawrence seems like the perfect person to help out with this. Um, <clears throat> I think we're in private here. <laughs> Watch out behind you. Um, Lawrence, I, uh, I was thinking, and mostly because Emmeline's up there and she told me not to use my powers, but I was thinking of going back to the portal and trying to see if maybe, maybe we can get Garth out of there. I mean, I, I know the portal is, it it's, I don't remember exactly where the path is, but I mean, I don't know. I just thought it was an idea that we could try. And we would go right now. What do you think? Are you sure that's a good idea? Are you confident in yourself to open the portal? I mean, Lawrence, I have the relic. Obviously you know that. I should be able to open it, right? If it's Irene's relic, and it's her dimension? That just makes sense. I'm not confident in my abilities, but Lawrence, if it was you, or Dante, or anyone else that I care about, I'd at least try. He smiles. I understand. Well then, shall we head out to the portal? <laughs> Let's. I don't think anyone will notice we're missing. There's so many people up there. Let's get going. <sighs> Lawrence, you don't know how much this means that you're coming with me. I... <sighs> I really appreciate it. Um, yeah... When we go out, by the way, don't, um, I don't want anybody knowing about this, um, as much as possible, if we can. Don't talk to Alexis and Kyle. I just don't want them involved in this. 
Okay, it's just Alexis. Alright, that's fine. <sighs> Alright, hello. Just out for an evening stroll. <laughs> uh, okay. Is she following us? No, she's not. Okay. It's gonna be a long walk over there, Lawrence, so I think we'll be fine. Just... No! Oh, what's that? A bee! <laughs> Thank you! <laughs> Lawrence! <laughs> okay, yes. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I'm glad you got it. <laughs> that scared me. It's just so late at night and everything looks a little bit spooky. <sighs> Alright, let's just get running there. As fast as we can. Uh, I just... I just hope we're doing the right thing. I really do. I'm pretty sure this is the place where we came out. At least, I hope. Uh, the forest just looks the same everywhere. Uh, now... Where... Whoa! I hear a cat. Okay, there's a cat over there. A black cat, nonetheless. Lawrence, don't do what you did to the bee to that cat. <laughs> I'm not accusing you of anything. I'm just saying. You know, just just in case. Alright, so I am having a hard time finding this place. Um, Do you remember where it is, Lawrence? Because I, I... I seriously don't remember where it's at. Where did you go? Um, I, he I hear you. Oh, there you are. Over here. I think it's this way. I vaguely remember jump- <gasps> I found it! It's over here! Okay. <sighs> Alright. So, I'm gonna put my sword away. Um, let me see if I can try a few things. Uh, maybe if I walk through it, this will work. Mm -hmm. No, nothing. Um, maybe if I walk- Backwards through it? Maybe if I just concentrate hard enough. Or what if, you know, I just get, get on my knee and try to pray? I could try that. It's not working. Okay. How about this? If I lie down on the floor and just crawl toward it? Oh, it's not working. Uh, what about this mushrooms? Maybe, maybe just throwing something inside will activate it. Um, let's see. No, it's not working. No! The... Lawrence, I'm the one with the relic here. I, I'll figure this out. <laughs> Please open up, portal. It, it's not working. Ugh. Okay, the mushroom didn't work either. <sighs> All right, you know what? I'm just gonna. S <sighs> I need utter concentration, Lawrence. Just. <sighs> <sighs> Lawrence! Lawrence! I think it's working! I think it might be opening! Me? Should I? Ha! <laughs> Lady Irene! Now, do you understand what kind of danger you could have been in? What? Huh? What did I tell you about messing with the realm barrier? But I have Irene's relic. That doesn't mean anything until you understand what you are dealing with. You don't think Lady Irene had issues opening the realm barrier? Even gods can rarely transcend dimensions. Lady Irene was a godlike being, but even gods can die. The real Lady Irene passed to the afterlife. You don't even know how to use that power yet! That's why we're going to travel to learn more about that! Right? <sighs> Opening the realm barrier is so dangerous even for a goddess! That is another dimension we are talking about here! Okay, Zoe, I think Atma has got the message. We can stop yelling. Emelyn, I have seen people torn limb from limb trying to open the realm barrier. You need the skin of a dragon in order to come out in one piece. Even then, dragons die from crossing. It can... she could have... Afmao could have died. But... but... Uh... Zoe, Afmao, please, 
We need to have a few words with you on not using your power until you fully understand it. Agreed. Now, Afmal, please understand that if you are marked by the emptiness again, that black and purple stuff on your skin, you might be consumed. Or even die. What? Lawrence? Yeah? Are you and Afmal a thing yet? Huh? Why would you ask such a question? It's just... Lawrence, you've been there for her since you've met her. Even now. From the way Zoe and Emmeline were yelling about how dangerous the whole realm barrier thing is, you could have been hurt. I'm her guard. It's what I do. She's no longer a lord. She doesn't have to be for me to protect her. Lawrence, you need to stop playing this nice guy route with her. You love her and you have since the day you told me about her. Why hasn't she given you a chance? You've made her smile in her darkest of moments. It's not fair that she's going to help Gareth and couldn't do the same for you when you saved her from the nether. Garenza, stay out of it. It's none of your business. Jeez, now I know how Dante feels about you being nosy. I, I'm sorry. It's just, I care for both you and Dante and want to see you both happy. Lawrence, it bothers me when you've always been the nice guy and helped girls get with other guys without thinking about your feelings. Just... I guess as long as you're happy. I am happy, Cadenza. I'm just happy to be around her. Alright. See you in the morning. Levin, you you guys didn't have to do this, but I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna reject your offer. I know that you wanted to, so I will... I will accept your offer. Um, this is just so much, though. I... I wasn't expecting. And those bags are all the rations we could afford to part with. As you can see, we got Logan and Yip already working on the wall. Malachi and I are planning on joining them after this. It's so weird seeing you off, but you're coming back right after you've convinced Matelli, right? <laughs> of course! Though, I will have to travel after that, but I'll be back here. Don't worry. Good. Then, we'll have something nice for you. Maybe not a party, but a nice dinner or something. You guys focus on the village. Let us worry about the celebrations. <laughs> of course. Ha, <laughs> gotcha. We'll see you in a few days. What? Wait, Nekoet? Neko, what? what are you doing here? Oh, Neko, what? That was. <laughs> I wanted to make sure Mister got some food. <laughs> oh, that was very nice of you, Neko. What? He's really nice, I think. He doesn't talk much, but that's okay. Nekoet will be friends with everyone. <laughs> you are so sweet, Nekoet. Alright. We've said our goodbyes. Let's head out. I can't believe this is really Matelli after all these years. It must be so hard for Lawrence and Cadenza. Did someone say Lawrence? Where is his stupid, stupid face? Oh no. Oh no. No.